Hey guys, uh, made it to another Friday. First month of the second semester uh, is now in the books. Um, just to recap, um, I went through Ample and um, passed the program. Um, did my first semester, was very successful, and now I'm here in my second semester taking civil procedure, property, and constitutional law along with my legal writing course and my legal studies course. And what I can definitely tell you about this semester is that um, the classes, the material is, is drier and that like the cases aren't as interesting and that like in torts, we were learning about like, you know, negligence and uh, negligence per se and um, the seven intentional torts and battery and offensive touchings and really cool cases and like wrongful death and that kind of thing. And contracts, we were learning, you know, like promissory estoppel and all these cool, interesting contracts concepts, and especially criminal law. It was my best class. I love that class. And now we're learning, you know, civil procedure, like how to file a complaint and file a motion with the court and jurisdiction and stuff that we need to know, but it's not necessarily like, oh, yeah, it's great. So making the best of it. And the same goes for constitutional law and the same goes for property. Property is ugh, just... To me, it's it's mind numbingly boring, arduous, difficult, convoluted, confusing, pretentious. I don't like it, but I'm a law student, so I got to learn it and I'm going to do my best. Um, what I can say and I'll keep in mind that, you know, my second and first semester courses might not be the same as the school you um, end up attending. Uh, and with that said, I'm still into into it at this point. You know, I'm not quitting. It's not even a thought in my mind. Actually, it is a thought. But I'm going to, you know, see this whole thing through and keep this going. And uh, I just wanted to take a second and say that I'm really happy with all the comments and I've gotten some messages and even a few more subscribers from my last video to this one, which makes me feel really good that what I'm doing uh, is getting to you guys and you're actually like you, you care, you know, which is which is nice because I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing it for if you if you're on the fence or maybe you've been accepted and you're really excited about what it's like. That's why I'm making these videos. So, uh, real quick, like today was cool. We went to the courthouse and listened to some judges speak to us about legal writing and legal ethics. And I won't go into this crazy amount of details, um, that, cause it's not necessarily interesting to you if you're not in law school. So I won't bore you with that, but it was a, it was a nice day. I got to wear a suit, which is really the, the high point of my day. But, um, and this semester I will say I'm taking on a different take in that I'm not killing myself. You know, I'm going to the gym with my buddies a couple days a week. Um, I'm spending time with my girlfriend on the weekends. I'm spending time with friends. I leave Friday night to not study and just live my life, go out, do whatever. Whereas last semester, every bit of free time I had, I was studying. And I feel like I kind of burnt myself out. So I'm learning from that. And now I'm delegating. Like when I study, it's like, boom, you go. And still, my days are still long in the week. Um, I basically have class from eight to three with like a couple hours break in between for lunch, but, um, that's to briefing for the, you know, the second part of the day. And then we stay at the library till about eight or nine. That's how it goes Monday through Thursday. And then Friday through Sunday, uh, you kind of, we, our study groups kind of does our own thing, but a lot of that time is spent, you know, uh, either studying, uh, with my girlfriend or by myself, but on top of that, still doing stuff for me. So I've learned to budget my time a little better this semester. Um, I can tell you that it doesn't get any easier. They've doubled the amount of work. My cases are like if I had if I had to read three torts cases, now I have to read six civil procedure cases a night for just that one class. And I have civ and pro property on the same day. So it's getting a little much. But our professors, I do like all of them, but they hold us to a high standard that we need to know all these things. So the work, it never gets any easier. It's never something that you're comfortable with. It's always a lot. I have been perpetually tired. I feel like I'm taking years off my life because I'm so tired, but there's no time to really catch up on the sleep because you got to get it done. So I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, like I said, I really enjoy responding to the questions that you guys have or the comments and anything you want to know just ask me because I'm giving it to you real and I forgot today because I got called on and I forgot to set up my webcam but next time I know I'm getting cold called 
I'll set up my webcam so you can see what it's like to get called on in class and it's just everybody's just looking at you like, do you know the answer? Because I don't. And your professor's like, so what was the court trying to tell us in this case? And why is this issue brought to the Supreme Court? And you're like, I don't, I don't even kind of know, but you got to get your way through it. So it's fun. It's, it's nerve wracking, but it's, it, it helps you learn. And I'm talking about Socratic method, of course. So I'm going over five minutes and 30 seconds now, so I'm going to cut this. But yeah, I hope you guys keep tuning in. Um, anything you want me to specifically discuss, let me know. And, uh, you know, thanks for sticking around and going through this with me. Later, guys.